This is the most anticipated release of 2023. Dex is finally here, and it certainly lives up to the hype. Or does it? Dax by Lloyd Barnes and Javier Flymeyer is a full 52 card index that fits inside of one pocket. You can have any card at your fingertips as fast as light. If you don't know what a playing card index is, well, first off, are you stupid? But second off, I'm gonna explain anyways because I'm glad you're here. A card index is like a Rolodex for a deck of cards. It secretly hides in one or multiple pockets and it gives the magician the ability to secretly retrieve a main playing card and magically reveal the card from thin air or any other way that they wish. There are tons of indexes on the market, but Dex breaks away from the race and stands in a league of its own, and this is why. Dex isn't only a full 52 card index that's not only lightning quick, but it's also designed to be razor thin so that way it can easily and seamlessly fit into the pocket of skinny jeans. Its intelligent form factor means that it will appear to be nothing but an ordinary small wallet. Every single DEX unit is meticulously assembled by hand and is constructed using a range of different materials, all seamlessly blended together to give you the world's most practical and powerful single pocket playing card index. When you become a DEX owner, you're not just receiving the world's most sought after index, you'll also be receiving access to the most thorough index masterclass ever taught. What will you be receiving if you decide to purchase DEX? You'll be receiving a tin in the mail and inside of that tin is the DEX gimmick. Now this gimmick has gone through so many prototypes, I mean, genuinely so many prototypes and they even go over it the tutorial video they walk you through the history of decks and how did they get to this point with the Dex gimmick that you're currently holding in your hands it has gone through so many different prototypes and i really enjoyed seeing the history behind it because i feel like a lot of times people just say yeah, it's been through a lot of prototypes, but this is the one that we ended up with. And maybe people don't care, but personally, as someone who's on the production side of Magic as well, it's nice to see the prototypes. I love seeing where a trick started, where did it finish, and when you start talking about how to mass produce a Magic product, that is a whole different question. And actually, this product also almost got canned. It almost didn't exist because of how difficult this trick was to produce at a mass scale. You'll also be receiving access to an online tutorial video where you will be told in detail, and I mean in-depth detail, because this is an index masterclass that runs for nine flippin' hours. Nine hours of tutorial footage on this thing. It gets broken up into sections, I mean it almost has to with Lloyd Barnes' Welsh voice, but it does get broken down into multiple sections, and I'm gonna run through what those sections are. Volume 1 of the tutorial video is a DEX crash course. Lloyd and Javier will teach you every single detail, including all of their devious tips and tricks that you need to know in order to become a DEX ninja. By the time that you watch this through, you'll be pulling named cards from DEX quicker than you can add kisses to a text message. Volume 2 is card tricks. This is where you will be learning a lot of the routines for DEX, and it happens to be Lloyd and Javier's favorite volume. They're both known for being creative juggernauts, and you'll understand why after watching Volume 2. Not only will they teach you how to perform some incredible tricks, but they'll also teach you how to take some of the best card tricks tricks of all time and make them even better. Imagine performing the invisible deck without a fully gimmicked rough and smooth deck, where the deck ends fully examinable. Volume 3 is called Not a Card Index? Yeah, because you don't just have to put playing cards inside of it. Due to the unique design of decks, it means that not only can you fit a deck of cards inside of it, but you can also swap it out for other objects such as envelopes, billets, tarot cards, and more. Volume 4 is called Collaborations. A small number of decks units found their way into the hands of some very clever creators, such as Andrew Niner, Jay Keen, Eric Stevens, and those guys came up with some truly creative ways to really turn decks' volume up a notch. Volume 5, Get the Most Out of Decks Lloyd and Javier have spent thousands of hours practicing and testing each other over video calls from opposite sides of the planet. And while doing so, they discovered some more mind-blowing practice techniques that will literally trick your brain and fingers into becoming a master at using decks. Without describing the techniques in this video, it'll be like one of those optical illusions where you stare at it for 30 seconds and suddenly you can see the face of Einstein, only this is for decks. You can even take this new concept and apply it to other magic. At the end of the tutorial video, there's also 
a section where they teach Bo Kramer how to use the Dex gimmick. He is a complete new beginner at using Dex, and they teach it in the video, and you can see Javier walk him through, and you'll see the tips and tricks he gives him, and you'll also see what Bo struggles with, and maybe you're struggling with it yourself, and you find out how to overcome it. But this is in real time how someone learns how to use the Dex gimmick. And quite honestly, I got a little bit distracted because I was staring at Bo's handsome face and luscious beard the whole time. So sexy. Now that all the talk about the tutorial video is out of the way, let's talk about the actual gimmick and how difficult is it to use. It is going to be one of those things where this is a skill that you're going to need to practice. You cannot get this within two seconds. You also might be able to get it within two hours. It might take you two days. It might take you two weeks. This is not something that everyone's going to learn at the same pace, but I will just go ahead and point this out. It just take some practice. If you're willing to put the time and the practice into Dex, then you will reap the rewards. One thing about Dex, aside from the actual skill it takes to reach into your pocket and pull the card out of the index, it does take some misdirection skill and some audience management there, but it doesn't take too much. I mean, it's not, you know, the hardest thing in the world, but it will take a little bit of practice with that as well. So if you're cool with your audience management skills, you feel comfortable with that, you feel like you can misdirect, then you should be fine. And Lloyd and Javier also talk about how to do this, in the tutorial video, not only are they telling you how to dive into the index, get your card out of it that's been selected, and then produce it somewhere, they're also talking you through all this other stuff about how to act while you're doing it, how to pull your hand out of your pocket, all these other things, these little subtleties, these techniques that go into the index masterclass, they're absolutely priceless. Is Dex examinable? Well, the cards that you're pulling from it are, but the actual gimmick itself, the spectators don't know that it exists, so no, it's it's not examinable because they don't even know it's a thing. And if they do know it's a thing, then you messed up. How are the angles for Dex? I just mentioned the misdirection that you'll need, so it really just depends on what routine you're doing. If you're performing surrounded, then you're definitely going to have to kind of adapt your performance to that, but if you're performing 180 degrees with your audience mainly in front of you, then you shouldn't have an issue with many of the routines on this. What's the setup and reset like for Dex? The initial setup is you putting the cards inside of the gimmick and loading it just for one time. You know, you're loading it however you want to. You could reload it later if you want to put in loops or, you know, different types of billets in there or something like that. But if you just want to load the playing cards, it'll take you about 10 to 20 minutes to do. Once you watch the video, you learn how to sort them, you learn how to load them into the index. Then you can do it in about 10 to 20 minutes. Might not even take you that long. It's 10 to 20 minutes with me watching the tutorial video and doing it at the same time. Is there anything you have to buy or supply yourself, the gimmick comes ready to go right out of the box. You do not have to do anything to it besides load the cards into the index. You can provide your own props and maybe some other tricks like the card to phone app or like Joshua J's phantom deck because they do teach routines with those things so you can add in additional props but you can absolutely just use a deck of cards and go straight out to the street and just figure out what you're going to do and make up routines on the spot. You don't have to add anything to it. Your old deck of cards is all you have to supply. Are there any negatives about decks? Personally, I don't have a ton of negatives with it, but I will say this is one of those tricks that the magic community is going to be so split over. I feel like everyone's going to open it up and either love it, hate it. I feel like most people are going to open it up and be a little disappointed at first and be like, this is it. No, it doesn't put the card into your hand. It's not electronic. It's not going to put the card inside of your fingertips when you put your hand into your pocket. That's not what it is. You do have to put the practice in. You have to be able to learn how to use the skill. Like I said earlier in this video, you can do this. It does not take that long. It might take you a little bit. It might take somebody else less time. But I will just go ahead and point out, it does not put the card in your fingertips. Don't expect it to do that. Whenever I first saw the Dex gimmick, I wasn't disappointed. I was more so just like, huh, this is what it is. You know, it's less than you think. And I think a lot of people are going to think a little bit bad about that. They're going to be like, oh, it's, it's just this. But let me just go ahead and put this out there. Watch the tutorial video, learn how to use it, put the device in your pocket, and then practice it and go from there. What are the positives about Dex? I love the tutorial video. It is a very long tutorial video. Like I said, nine hours, a lot of footage to go through. It's not just a masterclass on the Dex gimmick. It's a masterclass on indexes in general in that whole system. And I love that. There's so many different routines. I love that they reached out to other creators and said, hey, you know, we hop on this project, show us something that you came up with using Dex. And I really enjoyed the tutorial video. And Javier actually has a clear pocket that he attaches to himself and he puts the index gimmick inside of the clear pocket. So you watch him go into his pocket and fiddle around with the gimmick and pull the card out. You really get a look inside of someone's pocket when they're using Dex. And that is just such a small detail that I think is awesome they thought about because who's gonna reach the side of their pocket and really know what's going on from being at home watching it on the screen. I also love the end of the tutorial where Bo learns how to use the gimmick himself. I think that that is just such an awesome thing that they added that when you see someone else learn it, they might be having some of the same issues as you. And you can see, oh, it's not just me or oh, 
I didn't even think about that. I didn't even know that that would be an issue, but now I know to avoid it. And things like that, just very, very nice little detail. Another positive about DEX is that this really is endless possibilities when it comes to routines you can do with DEX. I mean, whatever you can think of, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. I mean, genuinely, like, that's really true with this. And not even just cards, there's a lot of possibilities that you can do with this. What should DEX retail as? Well, currently it retails for 75 US dollars, and is that a fair price? I think so. I think it should really be anywhere from like 55 to 100. I think you can kind of justify any of those prices for all that you can do with it, and it does get assembled by hand. I mean, a lot of this has been very, very well crafted, as I've talked about earlier. So many prototypes for this product. $75 for this after all the iterations they've gone through i do believe is a fair price and i think that if you're willing to put in the practice and you get the skill down you will enjoy using decks and you'll love the possibilities that it produces no pun intended ultimately i think if you like card index systems then you're definitely gonna like this one if you like the advocate and you think that that suits you and you don't need anything else that's fine keep the advocate if you're curious what the differences are Really one of the main differences is that this allows you to not do as much counting as the Advocate does. That's one of the big differences with it. And you can also fit other things in it. The people that will like decks the most are the people that are willing to put in the practice and the time to get it down and the people that actually enjoy using index systems. But if you're someone that uses the Advocate and you're like, man, I love the Advocate. I'm quick with it. You know, I don't have to worry about, hey, it takes me, you know, 30 seconds to get in there and get a card. No, it takes me five seconds to get a card. Three seconds. Like, I can do it quick then you should probably stick with the advocate. There's no need to get into a new index system if you're comfortable with the one you already use. Don't just take my word for it. Go out, search the internet, find some other reviews and see what they think about it. Get some other opinions. I want you to spend your money that you work hard for on the best thing possible. And if that's what you think this is, that's great. If you love index systems, that's awesome. But I want you to walk away feeling like you made a good purchase and you've got a good magic trick that you're going to perform. So if you think that's Dex, then there's a link in the description if you'd like to purchase it. I'd also like to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this product so that way I can do this Dex review for you beautiful people out there. If you found this video helpful, that is awesome. Please let me know by liking this video and commenting down below. That really does help out the channel. And if you think that there's a friend that wants to know what Dex is all about, please send them this video as well. Maybe they'll just say, hey, that's awesome. I'll buy it for us and then you can have a copy. I'll buy a copy for me. I mean, it probably won't happen, but if it did, that would be cool. And if you'd like to watch another video here on the channel, you can click this video right here. That's the video that the YouTube algorithm thinks you should watch, and trust me, they know you. They know you well, and this is the video they've been waiting on you to watch. So go ahead, click on it, and I'll see you there. No, seriously, it haunts me in my sleep at night. <laughs> you just gotta be able to use those fingers. I probably shouldn't have phrased it like that.